Welcome to the Sweet Life Coaching Podcast, connecting real people with expert advice to achieve a healthier lifestyle and live a more fulfilling and abundant life. Here is your host, Coach Tavia. Well, hello, this is Health Coach Tavia, and you are listening to the Sweet Life Connection, connecting everybody from all walks of life to experts all across the United States and beyond the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. I am going to be talking to you today about my journey, my life, how I got started in this wonderful journey that I love and endured a couple of years ago as being a health and life coach. I'm so excited for you to join me today. So welcome, welcome, and let me get right to it. So my name is Chavia Moore Salvadolina, and again, I am welcoming you to the Sweet Life Connection podcast all about life and health and good things. I am so excited to share this podcast with you today. I am no one special. I'm just like you, and that is the one thing I want you to remember. Everybody has their own expertise. Everyone has their own education. Everybody has their own knowledge of things. And we all have specialties. Um, and we're all special in one way or another. But I don't consider myself extraordinary or extraordinary. I just consider myself your average girl. Um, your Jenny from, from the block, if you want to call me. <laughs> that being said... I want to talk today about and tell you a little bit about myself and maybe you'll be inspired and well, I hope you'll be inspired that from my story and my goal in this podcast is to inspire you, to send you love, to send you good vibes, to send you my expertise through my own experiences, through my other colleagues, of course, that also have endured real life experiences. I feel we learn best from the people that experience the most and experience the most hardships as well. Um, You see, I am a Lyme warrior survivor, a Lyme disease survivor. Let me tell you what happened to me. In 2015, I was diagnosed with Lyme disease. But prior to that, I need to take you back and take you back in time. And let's go back about 10 years prior to that. Actually, let's go back even further than that. A lot of times um, when I talk to other people that have chronic illnesses, when I start talking about when they actually became sick or when they started feeling sick, it's actually a lot way further back in time than they actually say or think they know. So for me, let's just go back 10 years approximately. And here I was um, in my early 30s. I was getting married. I met my man of my dreams. We got married. I was um, early 30s. Um, and I was great. I was feeling pretty good, um, overall. However, things started popping up and things just started happening. Um, probably the first happening, if you will, would be, I started having some stomach pains and I started having just overall, I felt like crap all the time. Um, and I just, I would go to doctor, doctor, and they'd say, oh, you have irritable bowel syndrome, you have IBD, IBS, you have colitis, you have diverticulitis. I had colonoscopies, I had upper endoscopies, I had all these stomach issues, and I had all these stomach procedures, but everybody always said, you're fine. My blood work was always coming back just fine. Everything was always coming back just fine. But I still felt like crapola. Well, take it back a little further. And one day I was out and about and I just started having major stomach pains um, to the point where I was like, I couldn't breathe. And I told my mom, I'm like, I got these pains. I can't even lay down. I can't sit up. And I was in so much pain. I went to the doctor the next day, got in my general practitioner. And she's like, I think you have gallstones. And so we did an ultrasound. Lo and behold, I had gallstones. Two days later, I was in surgery. I removed my gallbladder. So that was fun. (laughs) Um, So that was kind of the beginning to the end of my discovery of Lyme disease was getting my gallbladder out. Got my gallbladder out, felt better. Things still just didn't add up over the years. I kept getting chronic headaches, chronic migraines, um, female problems, 
I was diagnosed with endometriosis when I was 15. I um, also go back to college, re back to college in my college years. I also got mono, otherwise known as Epstein Barr virus. Um, so I had things going on if I really, really look back. Um, and then let's fast forward into about 2014, 2015, when I walked into an environmental list, um, holistic practitioner. And I said, you know, doc, we've done all these tests. I mean, I kept going back to doctor after doctor and he, I was referred to this doctor and I said, you know, have we ever, you know, what tests have we done? And we had done tests after tests. I mean, so many test guys and everything pretty much came up normal for the most part, you know, but one thing that was keep coming up was I had, you know, abnormal, um, white blood cells, red blood cells every now and then like showed signs of infection, showed signs of, of, um, what we call inflammation. My ESR was high. My CRP was high. And, and I'll talk about more of those later. If you you don't need to know what those are, but they're basically inflammation markers. Long story short, I actually happened to see Avril Levine the wonderful musician on TV, the Today Show. And you guys may recall this a few years back. And she was talking about her Lyme disease and how sick she was. And I was like, that's me. I have like everything she's talking about. I mean, I was bedridden. I was having neuropathy. I was having, um, I was so flu-like all the time. I would catch every cold and flu known to man and, um, and sinus infections like crazy throat infections. Um, I could never get well. In fact, I actually remember one of my friends in middle school saying to me, yeah, I always thought you were a hypochondriac. And to this day, that still hurts. Um, this person that is, I'm no longer friends with, but I remember this person saying that to me. And I, to this day, it still hurts me because who wants to be sick? Not me. And granted, there might be some people out there that really do take it to a different level. But come on, guys, who wants to be sick? So let me take you back forward again. So here we are. I see Avril Levine. She's on the Today Show. I go back to my doctor, call him, and I say, you know what, doc? Have we ever done a Lyme disease test? And he's thumbing through his paperwork, and he's like, let me look, let me look. And we, guys, we had a stack of papers, a stack. And he's like, I don't think I did. I don't think I ever tested you for that. So here we go. We tested for Lyme disease. We sent off my blood work through um, down to Igenix Labs down in California. Three weeks later, October 9th, 2015, which actually happens to be my birthday, I was celebrating my birthday and I get a call from the doctor. Literally, we're planning on going out to dinner and everything. And he calls me, he goes, Hey, I got some good news and bad news. And I'm like, what do you, he's like, what do you want? I'm like, the good news. Because the good news is we got answers. I'm like, awesome. The bad news is it's Lyme disease. You're CDC positive. According to the CDC, you are positive for Lyme. (sighs) Big sigh. What now? Okay, doctor, great. What do I do now? And he's like, come into my office next week. We'll do a game plan. Great. So that was the beginning of my Lyme journey back in October of 2015. That was about, what, five years ago? A little over five years ago now. Um, I'm just going to be real brief. Lyme sucks. And if you know anyone that has Lyme disease, it's not fun. It is um, debilitating. It will rob you of everything that you have in your life. It will rob you of your friendships. It will rob you of your work. It will rob you of everything that you thought you had. Um, Lyme disease uh, there's no known known cure, if you will. It's basically just uh, you put it in remission, kind of like cancer. Um, it goes dormant. Lyme disease comes from ticks predominantly, but not always a tick. I want to tell you that right now. Most people, fewer than 50%, even recall getting bit by a tick. I am one of those people. I grew up on a farm, however. I grew up camping. I did not grow up on the East Coast. I grew up in the state of Washington. And doctors will tell you, oh, did you ever go to the East Coast? <clears throat> no, doc, I didn't. Um, because that's predominantly where Lyme is. Um, but guys, bugs travel. We have t- with deer ticks. We have deers here. My grandfather was a hunter. My uh, We all were surrounded by ticks. 
<coughs> excuse me. But the bottom line is it doesn't really matter where I got it. Um, cause I was sick. I didn't care at that point. I was like, just get me well. So, uh, in 2015, October, 20, 2015, I started a treatment. Treatment was hell guys. It was complete hell. It was not fun. Uh, I got really, really sick. I wanted to die. I was not happy. I remember crying, laying in my bed, telling my husband, there's, this is something got to be better for me. I, I had to get this for a reason. This is not my life. This is not how I'm going to live my life. And I will fight this to the end. Luckily, my mother and my father didn't raise no wussy girl. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn tough. And so I fought it. And I fought it for a good year. I went to Germany. I invested thousands of dollars in additional alternative treatments. I went to Germany and did a hypothermia treatment there. And I have information about that on my website if you would want more information. If you know someone that um, has Lyme disease and wants more information about what I did in Germany, they do basically hypothermia treatment. They don't do it in the United States here. And I did that. And luckily, that did help and save my life. I came home and from there, from 2016 to here we are now, I can, can, I can honestly say I'm doing much better. I can say I still will, and always will fight damage due to Lyme, but I will say that I can walk, I can talk, I can <laughs> share the story with you, I can work a job, I can hold a social life, I can do all the things pretty much you would never know that I'm. I'm sick where I've been sick. And that's all the thanks to my alternative doctors, my holistic doctors, my naturopathic doctor. That is the reason why I am sitting here talking to you today is because of those treatments. Fast forward to today. Actually, fast forward to 2017, 2018. When I was trying to figure out, as I was getting better, trying to figure out what it is that I'm supposed to be doing in my life. I always wanted to be a doctor. I will say that. <clears throat> and I will say for many, many years, I have always worked in and around wellness and holistic ways. I've always taken lots of vitamins. I've always been intrigued by that. Sorry, I had to take a drink of water. Um, but I will say um, I never really, and I went to college, got my bachelor's degree um, in communications with a minor in sociology, psychology. Um, I ended up becoming, following my parents' footsteps and becoming a real estate agent. Who would have thunk that? Um, that was not my dream. Um, that was more their dream than my dream, but it, it, it did, uh, I do enjoy it. And I don't hate that I, I took that route because I've met amazing people uh, along the way. And that's, I think God, puts those journeys in your life for a reason to meet other people. That's my belief. So anyways, fast forward about 2017, I was um, getting, starting to get better. And I just wasn't really happy in my real estate career like I used to be. Um, and I was looking for something and I figured, you know, this, there's a reason why I got sick, guys. There's a reason. And my purpose in life was turning. And my passion has always been to help others and going through what I went through so much years of hell and anguish and undiagnosed undiagnoses for many, many years made me so frustrated. And if you're out there right now, I can tell you you're not alone and that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm doing this and talking to you today about this. I truly believe that there is not enough information out there. There's not enough good to go around. And so I'm just going to do my part. So when I was laying there in bed one night and I was telling my husband, I'm like, there's got to be a purpose for me. There's got to be something else I got to be doing with this Lyme disease crap. Um, all of a sudden, this pop up, I'm doing some research, thinking about going back to med school. And this thing pops up in front of me, health coach. And I'm like, health coach? What the heck's a health coach? Did some more research, holistic health coach, coaching people back to their health, um, learning about nutrition. I'm like, yeah, we need that. Um, learning about the ins and outs of um, mindset shifts and how you have to change your mind to change your life and 
I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm following you. And all of those things really resonated with me because guys, one of the things to getting better when you're sick, mindset is a huge thing. Now I'm not saying you can just be like, oh, I'm well today and I'm going to be well. It's not that easy. You have to do some focusing. You have to do some refocusing and how you want to be. The mind over matter is a very real thing. The mind telling what the body to do is a very real thing. And for me, it was my mind shift that got me well or got me better. And it keeps getting me better. It keeps me moving. It keeps me progressing. And progression, we have no way. We can't turn back, guys. We can't turn back clock. We can't turn back the clock. We can't turn back time. You only have forward. You only have tomorrow. And tomorrow isn't even guaranteed. You have now. You have the present. Present state of mind affects everything. So when I saw this health coaching uh, institute, health coach school, I was like, I'm going to check this out. And the more I checked it out, I did some clarity calls with the school. And I was like, that's it. This is, this is what I need to do. And I signed up. And I took a chance and I invested in my health. I, because of going through the school, it was helping me with my health. Going through the school, I was helping others. And I freaking loved it. And I was like, this is my calling. This is who I want to be. So signed up for the Health Coach Institute. Went through the schooling. Um, graduated. I went through the Life Coaching Schooling. I went through their Mastery Level Program, Transformational Coaching, because I want to be a masterful coach. So I did three certifications in one year. Um, And then on top of that, I actually decided I wanted to do more in functional nutrition and learn about functional medicine aspect. And so I signed up for that school too. (laughs) So I am a little brainiac kind of, and I love to learn and I keep learning. And this year I'm doing some more classes and some more schooling because Knowledge is power. You're never too young or never too young, never too old to learn. I'm only in my 40s. I'm still young. I got lots of life to live. And I want to share the good as long as I'm on earth. So I am now your health and wellness coach. I operate from a mindset of everyone deserves wellness. Everyone deserves a chance. And if you take a chance on me to be your coach, I will put my 110% effort into you. I believe that my soulmate clients come to me. I believe that everybody can get well if they want and choose to. We all have a choice. I believe that health and wellness is a right and it is our right to be well. You have a right to be well. You do not have to be sick. You do not have to be told it's all in your head. You do not have to be told that you are never, that you are this label, that you are Lyme disease. You are MS. You are rheumatoid arthritis. You are lupus. You are a cancer patient. You do not have to be that label. You can be whoever you want to be. That is just a chapter in your story of life. Lyme is just a chapter for me. It's not who I am. There's so much more to me. And as you get to learn and hear more about my podcast, you're going to learn a lot more about me. But I just want to reach out to everybody today and say, if you're out there suffering, and if you can resonate or if you can relate to my story, reach back out, please. And I would love to hear from you. And this is um, me just saying, I care about you. And if I can't help you in any way, that's fine. I have plenty of other colleagues and coaches and functional medicine doctors and naturopathics that I work with and team up with that I can refer you to um, and get you help. Help is out there and there's no better time right now than the present to get help. We all have something we deal with. We all have something emotionally, physically that we deal with. And why would you settle for anything less than amazing? Why would you? I didn't settle for anything less than amazing. I didn't settle for being Lyme disease and being Tavia Lyme. I settled for 
better and I'm doing better and I love it. I love what I do. I look forward to hearing from you. That's my story in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will listen to more episodes upcoming with fabulous guest speakers that I'm going to be having and sharing with you more, not just about Lyme disease, guys. I want to point this out. This is not a podcast about Lyme disease. This is all about you. This is about living. This is about life. This is about positivity. This is about spirituality. This is about sharing the good in the world. And that's what I want to do right now is share the good because we need it so bad guys right now. We need more love. We need more positivity. And I want to do my part. So have an amazing day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part of this. And I will see you on the next or you will hear me on the next episode. Have an amazing day. I love you. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Sweet Life Coaching Podcast. To learn more about the topics mentioned on today's show, please visit SweetCoachTavia.com.